Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about how to send uh, ISP data to uh, Metamorph. Um, got this ID some days ago and by chance someone already wrote a um, similar tutorial that I'm doing today. Uh, so thank you Ruben uh, Vetsoli for writing it as well. I would like to thank uh, Lucas Winkler and uh, Stefan Gill um, for helping me here. Um, so how does it work? The concept behind is that uh, we use a service which has a database telling you what's about the given IP address. This service is named Extreme IP Lookup. In order to use it, you will need to have um, a key. Uh, so you need to register to their system and then you get a key, an API key that you can use in order to use this uh, service. Uh, what's going to happen is when this service is used, um, so when you pass it, in fact, the IP address is going to give you as a result everything that you can see over here dealing with the IP address. So to set the business name, the business website, the city, uh, the continents of those are kind of classical information. But what you are getting as well, in addition to that, is the IP type. So it's telling you if it's a business, if it's a peer, if it's a educational organization. Uh, it's giving you as well, um, yes, the name of the ISP provider. Name of uh, ISP provider can be very valuable because in some cases uh, it can be related to a company. So typically here, as you can see, uh, if you are interested in uh, targeting, for example, people coming from your website, which are coming from Michelin, for example, the big uh, tire company. Well, in fact, uh, Michelin is its own ISP somehow, so uh, this information is is written uh, within the, the ISP. So this way you can in fact trigger a given pop-up uh, for uh, a given company just based on the fact that this information is within their uh, ISP data. In my case, I'm mostly interested in, in grabbing this information, the IP type, because most of the companies when they use Matomo they are mostly interesting in knowing if uh, it's uh, individuals or if it's uh, rather companies. So uh, what I did here is I copy and paste this script. I edited it a little bit uh, like this. So I first created a custom HTML tag, function get IP JSON. So the idea is, okay, here this JavaScript function is going to get the result of this, this file, which is going to be over here. And then uh, what it's going to do is that it's going to take out uh, the IP type, so this information, put it over here, send it as a custom dimension, and then um, I need to send it along with a track event because that's how custom dimensions are working. Then I can uh, put my uh, trigger here. Um, as you can imagine, this service has a limited number of attempts that you can have on the platform. So that's why it's interesting for you to uh, use the advanced setting here and just say, for example, once in a lifetime or once per 24 hours like this, you ensure that somehow the number of visitors correspond to exactly the maximum amount that this service is, is allowing you to go and not to be fired multiple times over the same visits. Like this, you can save somehow your credits and that, that's very valuable. So uh, then after what's going to happen is that people are landing on your website. It's going to be fired once. Then you get this tag, which is uh, triggered, so the ISP1. And then when you look at the variable, uh, it's going to pick up uh, the IP type. So in my case, bad example, because it's not picking it up right now uh, and nowhere else. Uh, but that's because I was defining it as a data layer and not as a custom dimension. So it's uh, in fact, indeed it's working. So I'm getting, as you can see over here, the visitor type, uh, which is residential, which corresponds that this visitor, which is myself, is in fact uh, an individual and not a company. So in my case, I don't have any IP address coming from a company. So that's the reason why I'm not getting either education or either company here, business. But if I was coming from an IP address, which is from the company, I would have uh, got it. And that's everything that I wanted uh, to show to you guys. Uh, thanks for watching.